Colleen from StarlinerEvents.com, and I'm here tonight with some people from the uh, drag show Vetri. I still don't know exactly how to drag pronounce it. Drag Video Verite, number Thank five. Thank you. <laughs> drag Show Video Verite. Why don't you each introduce yourselves, and we'll just take it from there. Well, I'm Veronica Vera, the Dean of Miss Vera's Finishing School for Boys Who Want to Be Girls. And? I'm Stu Cottingham, but I was Misty Madison and LaRev. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> All right. And uh, let's see here. Tell me a little bit about your little enterprise that you got. Oh, well, my enterprise actually is it's, it was created in about 1992 as the world's first cross dressing academy. So we've actually had two um, pieces in Drag Video Verite. This is our second. Yeah. But the academy itself is a school for people who enjoy gender play and cross dressing. And they come from across the country and around the world. And we're at www.missvera.com. Are you right here in New York then? Yes, we are. Yes, okay. we are. And so you have like the place with all the wigs and the shoes and all the cool clothes? Yes, we've got it all. Some people just arrive with, um, with themselves and don't, others come with elaborate wardrobes. Oh, wow, wow. Okay, and then how do you fit into that and how do you work with her on that? Well, actually, I'm her boyfriend, but, um, oh, okay. but, but uh, we met at a barbecue and it just so happened that, uh, of course, she's got the academy and... Uh -huh. I, I'm a cross-dresser, so I, oh I, it was a very exciting thing, you know. Yeah, and you have a cute boyfriend, too, by the way. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yes, uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, you've been cross-dressing all your life then, and then... Well, certainly since puberty, yeah. Okay, yeah. all right. And she probably gave you a few tips to kind of up your She a She has, but it was intense uh, pressure the first time I uh, introduced Misty to her. I felt like, oh my God, wow. you know, okay. this woman runs a cross-dressing school. <laughs> Were you aware of that when you met her, and then, or did you just all of a sudden, oh my gosh, she does this and I do that? Um, I was made aware when I met her, actually. So it wasn't. It wasn't really. There was a. Con I, I think there was a conversation on the topic. Um, I didn't know. I just thought, you know, that she was interesting. Um, you know, there was. Uh, she was sitting next to me, and you know, the mood was was very nice. And um, you know, then I, it came up in conversation between other people. And um, and then I said, "Oh my goodness, this is this is quite fortuitous, <laughs> uh, too good to be true type yeah, thing." Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's that? <laughs> okay, what did you think when you first met Misty? Then, well, what attracted me? Oh, uh, Misty. Yeah. Okay. Well, the first time I met Misty was the first time that Misty and I got together. Okay. Yeah, in oh. a carnal way. Yes. Okay. So um, I thought, first of all, she was very cute. I'm, I was very impressed that he that Stu had done Misty's makeup really pretty well, okay. which meant less work for me. There you go. So, and her outfit was a bit trashy. You know, it was like a little short denim skirt. <laughs> it's kind of like, like the Jerry like, Jeff Walker Wask song, <laughs> Trashy Women. Exactly. She was like kind of, um, what is it, um, the Daisy Duke. Daisy okay. Duke look okay. with a little off-the-shoulder um, nylon blouse, you know. Mm -hmm. Very cute though, and um, and a really pretty long red wig. Now now Misty has her own uses her own hair. Stu has grown his hair long, and and Misty has her own hair. So actually, since we've been together, I think Misty's been more out and about. Okay, fabulous. Okay, and let's see here. Um, you've been going since 1992. You said, oh my gosh, and you have a lot of clientele come through. Can you tell our viewers for who would ever be out there would be interesting? Um, give your website again and all that. My website is www.missvera.com. In New York, you can or we're from ever 212-242-6449. And on the website, you can check the, all of the classes and the enrollment application. And also, we're casting because we're doing a, a television show, we, and we do also print media. So we're always looking for scholarship students. So anyone who can't afford to come to the academy, but but is up for being transformed from male to female can definitely go to www.missvera.com to find out information. Okay. It's really fun. Come! Uh -huh. <laughs> now, were you in the movie tonight at all? Yeah, there was that one piece called La Rev, uh, which was a little uh, fantasy sequence at the stone wall that uh, okay. we put together. And, um, yeah, it was great fun, you okay. know. Okay. I, um, I, uh, 
I've been looking forward to seeing it. We had something we tried to enter last year, but uh, it's on YouTube, so it couldn't be on uh, Drag Show Video Verite. So, uh, so you don't want to put it on YouTube if you want it on this. This year we held off on putting it on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay. Well, let's see here. Do you have anything else that you'd like to add, either of you? Well, I just think anyone who's interested in drag and performance has to see Drag Show Video Verite and then check it out and just wherever you see it being shown because Joe takes it around. Go, go, go. It's a wonderful show and thank you very much. Okay, and any final words from you? Yeah, I'll just do a little bit of this and say, be fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, well, thank you too and uh, that will do it for Sherry sure Yvette and we'll be visiting again. It's Colleen from StarlinerEvents.com here at the Lincoln Center.